channel, Den and Vixen. It's Kathy, and today I have a little bit of a collective haul to share with you. Now, I say collective haul because I was planning on doing a couple of haul videos, you know, within the past couple of weeks. However, I kind of run out of time. I I um, have been kind of busy doing stuff, so I just didn't have a chance to sit down to do a video, so now I've... Um, continue to collect items so today I'm just going to share the highlights of those hauls with you and um, hopefully that'll be enough to tide us over till the next haul. However, that being said, I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of an update on my filming schedule. I have been, like I said, I've been kind of busy and I kind of have decided I need to focus on a couple of other things um, that are maybe more important than YouTube. I know it's hard to believe there are things that are maybe just a little more important than YouTube, like, oh, I don't know, my family, <laughs> my house, you know, work, <laughs> other things. But um, I don't want to completely give up YouTube because I'm really, really enjoying making the videos, sharing the videos with you, and um, getting to know all of you because I've really gotten to know quite a few of you. However, I think I'm just going to have to pull back just a little. I was trying to do at least two videos a week in the past, and if you've been following along, you'll notice that that's kind of dropped a little bit. So I think I'm only going to be able to commit to one video a week, and I'm going to try to post midweek hopefully Wednesdays, but I'd start looking for me anywhere from Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. If you're subscribed, you'll probably get a notice when the new videos pop up. And if we're lucky, hopefully I'll be able to get up a second video um, during the weeks, but I'm really only going to be able to, um, right now, aim for once a week. So I just wanted to let you know but hopefully the videos that I do get out will be interesting enough to keep your attention and you'll still continue to um, look forward to what I have to post. So um, that being said, um, I do have a couple of ideas coming up for videos within the next couple of weeks. I have, um, I'm just gonna let you know, I have a, um, a review coming up that I'm really excited to share with you. And um, of course, I'm gonna have my empties, hits and misses. And then a few videos back, I did a get to know me tag. And in that video, I asked you to ask me anything. So if you have any questions that you wanna ask me, I would love to do a video answering those questions for you. I did get quite a few questions, but I don't think it's enough to really make a video. So feel free to ask me anything. I am out there. I share pretty much everything with you guys. And if you have anything you want to know, feel free to ask me. And those are some video ideas that I have for the future. So um, stay tuned if you're interested in watching any of those. But until then, let's get back to my haul because I have some things that I'm really excited to share with you. Now, my kids were out of school for spring break. Um, I want to say the second or third week of April. Maybe it's the second week. I don't remember. But um, that's how long it's been since I've um, started collecting some of these items that I'm going to share with you. However, um, we went to Palm Springs for spring break. And the reason why we went to Palm Springs is because we now have a vacation home out there, which is really, really exciting. My husband has always wanted to have a vacation home in Palm Springs. It's been his dream. And he recently found a place that he could renovate, which was um, a really fun project for him. He loves to renovate homes. That's basically what he does for a living. And um, he found the perfect home for us. And um, it is now finally done. I haven't really talked about it because I don't want to jinx anything. But we are now able to use it for vacations, and I am super, super excited about that. So from here on out, probably for the rest of our lives, all of our vacations are going to be at our Palm Springs house. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> because I've traveled around the world several times um, <laughs> in the past. And um, yeah, I'm good with staying right here in California. Now, Palm Springs is a really, really neat area. Um, in case you don't know, it's where the movie stars back in the day used to vacation. And the reason why they vacationed there was because they all had contracts with the studios. I'm talking like 50s and 60s movie stars. And the studios would not allow them to leave the state of California when they were under contract. So uh, they would take vacations to Palm Springs. And that way, it was almost like being in Vegas. 
However, not quite as far, but yet still um, just far enough away from home to get a little bit of a break from the grind, if you could call it the grind, back in old Hollywood days. So it really has a lot of nostalgia, and I just think it's a neat, neat town, and, and I just love going there along with, you know, my husband. My kids love it too, and it's just um, far enough away to get away from home, yet close enough to be close to home in case you need to get back and everyone takes their dogs and they walk around the town with their dogs and take them to restaurants and shopping and it's just a neat neat town so if that's where I have to vacation for the rest of my life I am not complaining even though my husband did a beautiful job decorating the home and getting it ready for us, it still needed a little bit of a woman's touch. I mean, it still does, even though everything is there and you can use it and live in it, I still feel like we need to just, you know, push it up just a little bit. However, first things first, we needed to get some stuff for the kitchen, basically some towels, um, you know, little things like that floats for the pool, etc., etc. So I decided that I would go to Ross because I can usually find really good deals on things for the home there. And since it is a second home, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on stuff that I'm going to use, you know, every few months or so. So I went to Ross and found a bunch of really cute things, but then I got a little distracted in a couple of the other departments, and yeah, I just couldn't help myself. So the first thing that I found that um, was not in the home department were these adorable little shorts. Aren't these cute? They're like crochet shorts, and um, they've got this nice stretchy waistband, and I can't wait to wear these. They're kind of loose. You know, I have kind of thunderous thighs, which, yes, we're working on those for, um, you know, spring and summer. <laughs> kind of. Um, but, yes, I thought these would be really cute. They'd look really good with maybe a tank top, a T-shirt, um, a pair of sandals, flip-flops. They're perfect, perfect for summer, and I can't. And if you know me, you know I have an obsession with Paris, even though apparently I'm not going to be going there on vacation anytime soon. But that's okay. I will just wear Paris on my shirts. I think this is what started the haul. I think I was walking to the register with all of my home goods that I was going to buy. And I got distracted by this. It is just the most delightfully tacky t-shirt that anyone has ever seen. But I absolutely loved it. I love the, the metallic animal print. <laughs> and I love that it says love. You know, that old-fashioned 70s love print. It's high-low. And then the back is sheer. Sheer animal print. <laughs> anyway, I just thought it was really cute. And I thought this would be Another thing that I bought was this. Has anybody tried this? Beauty Now and Next. I've actually never tried this brand or seen this brand, but I liked the idea that it was a no light gel manicure. And I've seen the ones, I think it's by Sally Hansen. So I thought this might be a good knockoff. Let me try it. And it was $3.99 for the whole system. So I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know how I like it. And here's another thing that I picked up at Ross that I thought was a really, really good deal. It was bronzers. And I don't need any more bronzers, but um, I have seen great reviews on these particular bronzers, the Physician's Formula. And it came with two per pack. And the colors are light bronzer and the other one is just bronze. So I'm really excited to try these. And the price was $6.99 for two. Of course, it says compare at $27.90, but who really pays those retail prices that they always talk about? I have to say a couple of the things that I purchased um, in this particular haul have been YouTube inspired. And one of them was inspired by Lisa Lisa D1. Once again, I talk about her all the time. I think I'm a stalker. I, am I a stalker or am I a creeper? <laughs> I think I must just be a stalker because they say creepers just um, watch or stalk silently, but um, stalkers let you know they're there because I always comment on her stuff. <laughs> so I guess I'm technically just a stalker or a friend. It depends on how you look at it. But anywho, Lisa had these booties. I thought long and hard about getting these booties, but I don't know how or why they came up, but I decided that um, I finally had to have them. I purchased these off of Amazon, even though you can buy them off of 6pm.com, but 
I got them on Amazon because the site that I purchased them from had free returns if um, you decided they didn't fit properly and 6pm.com does not do free returns. The price was exactly the same. I want to say I paid $135 for them but um, I had the option to return them for free. Um, if I can find the link, I'll link that below if you're interested in these booties. But how cute are these? I love the zipper on the back. And the one thing that I really, really love about them, because they are Ugg, is, well, I guess you can't really see it, but um, there is fur or shearling in the toes. So I think you could probably technically get away with wearing these without socks, you know, like Uggs just in general. I have so many just regular Ugg, Ugg boots um, that I love, but um, they're not very fancy. So I thought these would be nice and I love the color. However, I do need to protect them because they are um, suede or um, nubuck. I don't know what the difference is between suede or nubuck. You tell me what the difference is. But I do need to put a protector on there because they're a light color and I don't want them to get dirty. And here's another YouTube inspired purchase. If you follow along, you know that I am a flight attendant. I um, tend to do overnights. I haven't been doing overnights this month, which is the way I planned it, which is perfectly fine. But when I do go to work, whether I do an overnight or not, I pack a suitcase because sometimes you just don't know if you're gonna get stuck overnight somewhere. And for me, because it is just one small suitcase, I don't wanna to take too much. I don't want that bag to be too heavy because yes, I still have to lift it, carry it, and schlep it around with me. So I was inspired to start carrying pallets um, instead of individual makeup items just to keep um, you know, just to save on space. So I found the NYX Waiting for Tonight palette, which was perfect because it came with an array of eyeshadows, just about every single eyeshadow color that you could possibly need. And in case you didn't know, NYX is owned by the same company that owns Urban Decay and Lancome and Maybelline. So it would not surprise me if um, there might be a few dupes in here. Just, just food for thought. And so on top of having all these beautiful eyeshadow colors, I have blush. I've got um, eyebrow powders, which I think you could probably also use as perhaps a contour. And um, we've got a couple of shades of lipstick, which are really pretty, and um, concealers. So I'd say all you need is carry this along with some foundation, a concealer, mascara, really you have enough um, to tide you over if you're in an emergency and you do get stuck somewhere because you can always use um, an eyeshadow as an eyeliner and yeah, really that's all you need. So I was really, really excited to get this to keep in my suitcase. I've been seeing YouTube videos on makeup erasers. Now makeup erasers are just basically washcloths made of microfiber. And um, I think the premise behind that is you just get the, um, the washcloth or the makeup eraser wet and you can just wipe your face clean without needing cleansers or um, soap or anything. And um, I thought, okay, that seems like a really neat idea, but I'm not going to spend $20 on a washcloth. I'm just going to hold off on that until they um, go on sale. Well, I went shopping at Walmart and I found these. They're called Always Off Makeup Cloths. And I wasn't looking for this. They just kind of um, stood out. They were like on one of those in cap displays and I thought oh those seem similar to those makeup erasers so basically it came with a pack of three they look like this here's one it's just a microfiber cloth and I'm gonna share with you these actually work it's amazing all I've been doing is just getting them wet and then just wiping my makeup off and I'm gonna tell you they I think they've been removing my makeup better than those makeup wipes and um, if these are gonna last and last I'd say these are a lot more cost effective than buying individual makeup wipes. Now, I haven't tried a makeup eraser. However, um, if they're better than these, then they've got to be amazing because these are pretty darn good. These cost me, I want to say, less than $3 at Walmart. They're called Always Off. Um, try them. Try them. I think you might like them. So I wanted to share these with you if you're um, into those makeup wipes and perhaps maybe want to save a couple bucks because you can just throw those in the wash and um, keep reusing them over and over again. And while we're on the subject of skin, I just recently purchased the Obagi Tretinoin Cream um, 0.1%. I had been using the 0. 
6.05% and decided that I wanted to go up a little bit. I purchased this from Brianna Stenko. I kind of find that her prices are really, really reasonable since I don't go through my insurance when I buy my Retin-A's and um, hers seem to be very, very reasonably priced in that sense as compared to just the pharmacy. And um, yeah, so I wanted to try going up just a little bit to see if it would help, um, you know, with the wrinkles and, and whatever it does. But So I've been really, really happy with the 0.5%, 0 0.05%, you know, the one that's not as strong. And so I figured that, um, hey, if that works, then this might possibly work better. We shall see. We'll sh we shall see. Um, that could be just, you know, my crazy thinking. But because I ordered it from Brianna, she sent a little sample of the Obagi Gentle Cleanser. And I'm really, really excited to try this because I haven't really used any of the Obagi cleansers. I've used the blender, the clear, and um, that's pretty much it. And of course the tretinoin cream. And um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. And I think this is a fairly nice sample. And I say Brianna threw it in there. Is Brianna really the one filling the orders? I don't know. But whoever it was that filled the orders in the office where I ordered it, put this in there. So I'm really, really excited to try this. Here's one more thing that I thought was really appropriate for a spring haul was the um, Jergens Natural Glow Instant Sun. It's time to start doing the self tanning now and this was a YouTube inspired purchase. And those are the highlights of my collective spring haul. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I got as much as I enjoyed shopping for them. <laughs> Now, I will be back very soon, hopefully next week, with something just as exciting as this week. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and like it. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, please do so. Leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you, and I will see everybody next week. Till then, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.